hasn't changed. My God, 2,000 years and it hasn't changed. How? It's all still here. There's just nothing left of it. What did I hope to find? A pile of rubble? You standing there waiting for me? I've come back to my mistakes preserved in a museum. I'm such a waste. I built all this only to throw it away. What made me so certain that I had to go? Why did you let me? Lost in thought? Have you been thinking more about what you want to do? No, I haven't. These decisions seem to be made without me anyway. That's not true, Amber. I'm not trying to force you into anything. I just want to make sure you will be happy. You don't need to decide anything. You can stay here as long as you want. This is your home. And Turing will always be here to help you. I don't want your stupid machines, John. I don't care about any of this. What you've built, none of it matters to me. I only want you. I still don't understand why you want to leave. 
I do not want to discuss this again. You don't understand. Then help me to. I have spent my entire life watching people who were never able to grasp the opportunities they were given, who wasted their time. I can do great things. I can discover worlds no one has ever seen before. If I stay here, I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life. And there's nothing worse than regret. No, there's not. I don't want you to regret anything. I couldn't have run away from you any faster. My speed was so great that time bent around me. You were probably already dead by the time I experienced one year. But I didn't forget about you. I won't let myself. You were fading away, but I remember now. All those days we spent here. And why I loved you so much. We used to watch those stars at night. Dreamed about what they were doing on them. How unlimited they were. But we couldn't have imagined. I've seen what no other man will ever see. Thousands of ships fleeing from their sun as it went supernova and died. Ripping itself apart into fragments of light before collapsing down to nothing and exploding into a black hole. It was there that I first felt it. The most incredible emptiness. I wanted desperately to reach out to someone. To hear a human voice. What did anything I achieved mean without the one I loved to share it with? That was your gift to me. But it's too late now. Everything has to start over again. I don't know if I can. Not by myself. Not without you. Where did you find the strength? I left you alone on a mountain in the middle of a desert. I expect it's justice that that's also the clearest memory of us I have. I think I'm ready. Turing, this is an important day. Important not just for myself. I've brought you to the brink of something momentous. With your new system, you're as good as me now. The world is finally something for you to experience. But with this gift, I expect you to carry on my work. It's a shame I won't be able to stay and watch you grow, but... I hope to return to a better world than the one I left. Thank you, sir. I will do my best to live up to the example you have set. Goodbye. Goodbye. I don't know what to say. There's nothing to, really. I'm gonna miss you. I can only imagine what you're gonna become. Thank you, John, but... I'm not interested in greatness, not pursued by anything unlike you. 
I hope you find more than you dreamed of. Don't forget about me when you do. You know you'll always have my love. And you mine. You better go. Yeah. Goodbye. I just hope I didn't cause you too much pain. I hope you found someone else to make you happy. John? Amber. What are you doing down here? Amber. What? We're about to eat dinner. You're not John. Who are you? Amber, this is impossible. You're dead. Who are you? What are you doing here? You're not real. You can't be. What do you want? Talk to me. You're not real. How can you be here? Who are you and how do you know my name? It's me. It's John. You're not John. I am. But I don't know how this is possible. How can you be here? I live here. By yourself? No, with my husband. Husband? You're married? To who? His name is John. He's a scientist. John? You mean he hasn't left you yet? John would never leave me. What's happened here? What's happened to the laboratory? It's always been like this. John says he doesn't need it anymore. Amber, I know this is hard for you to believe or even understand, but I am John. We used to live here, together, until I left more than 2,000 years ago on a rocket. Somehow, I've come back in time. I don't know when or how. You're insane. Amber, it's true. Look at me. Don't you know me? No. I've never seen you before in my life. What about the time we spent together? You, me, and Turing, day after day, building our home. Who's Turing? Oh, it doesn't matter. Those nights we spent outside, looking at the stars, talking about our future. How do you know about that? Because we shared it. That first time we spent together, you took me by the hand. You told me that you'd never felt this complete before. That you'd never had a home until now. How could you know about that? Only John... Because it's me, Amber. You don't know what this means to have you back again. I'd given up all hope. It was a terrible mistake turning you away. I've lived with that mistake for a very long time. But now I can fix it. Now I can make things right again. Amber. I love you. Amber, move away from him. I don't know what he thinks he's doing, but he never should have come here. Quickly, come here. Are you all right? Did he hurt you? No, I'm, I'm fine. What was he saying to you? He told me he was you, from the future. He said he traveled back in time. I know it sounds incredible, but he knows things about us. Things I'd only ever told you. John, I don't know what to think. Amber, listen to me. Everything he told you is a lie. He's just trying to trick you. He wants to hurt us. What? No, I don't. Why would he do that? Who is he? He's the man who used to live here. He's insane. He was a scientist with a family too, until he gave it up to chase a fantasy. Now he wants to take you from me. Wait, you're wrong. Amber, I don't want to hurt you. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. You've got to believe me. 
Then why are you here? I had to come back. I had to find out what happened. This isn't your home anymore. You don't belong here. We're finally happy. I no longer live just to carry on another man's work. What did you say? I remember. I said that. Oh, God, it's you, isn't it? Oh, God, what have you done? I mean, what is he talking about? Nothing. Don't listen to him. He's just trying to spoil what we have. How could you do this? Have you gone insane? I'm shutting this down. No, you're not. You think you can just come back and take what's mine? I'll teach you to wreck another man's family. You couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? You couldn't let anyone else be happy, only you. What did you do? You abandoned us. You went off into space and left me here alone. I have a right to a life. John, no! Does she even know? No, what? John, please let him go. You're killing him. Nothing. Don't worry, I can explain everything. John, he's a machine? That's not John. His name is Turi. He's a robot I made. My assistant. Before I left, I gave him intelligence. The ability to feel. It was a careless mistake. So it's true, what you said? Who you are? Yes. Well, what about me? Am I a machine too? I'm afraid so. He programmed you just as she was before I left. And we were happiest. So my memories are hers. I was living her life? Were you happy? Yes. It was perfect. Amber, I... But it wasn't real, was it? Amber, I... Don't talk to me. Don't even look at me, just... Shut us off. I'm sorry, Amber. Never should have come back. <laughs> 